I'm Adil Kumar. Let me first thank my subscribers for actively participating and posting excellent questions. Here is one of the questions from my subscriber. We need to find volume of water in a pipe. The question here is, a horizontal cylindrical tank 150 centimeter long, 60 centimeter wide, is filled up to the depth of 48 centimeters. Find volume of water in this tank. So let me sketch this. You can actually also pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's say this is our cylindrical tank. It is placed horizontally. So, so let's say that is how it is placed horizontally. Okay. Um, so let me end it here, kind of like this. It says it is 150 centimeter wide so so that means we have no it is uh, 150 centimeter long so this is the width of it let's say this is the width and this is 150 centimeter long so this is the length of this the width is given to us as 60 centimeters right so all the units are in centimeters And it is filled up to a depth of 80 centimeters or 48 centimeters. Okay, so this is midway. Midway will be 30. 48 means 18 above, right? So, so what I'll do here is kind of sketch the water level with a different ink. So let me just uh, make it green. Okay. So let's say this is uh, the water level. Okay, so this is the water level in this tank. Okay, so that's the water level. Okay. And uh, this height is, is 48. That is given to us. We need to find volume of water in this tank. So that's the question for you. Now to find volume of water, what we can do is we can think about finding the volume of empty space and take away that volume from the total filled space. So we'll work on the cross section, which is a circle. So as a part of construction, uh, let me just join center with these two points. So if I do that, I get a triangle here. Do you see that triangle? And in this triangle, radius is half of diameter which is 30 centimeters so i'll write down radius as 30 and what is this height of the triangle this height is since the total is 60 this is 30 48 is the height that means this much the height of the triangle is 18 right so it is 18 is that okay fine now, just to communicate, let me just give some uh, name to all these points. Let's say this is O, this is A, and that is B. Okay. So, from here, what do you notice? We see the triangle OAB, and we need to find area of this triangle. Once we find the area of the triangle, we can take away from the sector area OAB, the area of the triangle and find the area of the segment once we get the area of the segment from the area of the circle we'll take away the segment area we know what water is there the cross section so that is the approach i hope that is absolutely clear now let me call this point the center point as m here okay now in this right triangle we have two sides 30 and 18 we can find what bm is so let's begin by finding bm now this length bm will be 30 square minus 18 square square root correct so that is let me take the calculator calculate this out so which is square root of within brackets 30 square minus 18 square bracket close equals to 24 so this half length is 24 right 
So AB, the base of the triangle, is 48, right? So we know the base of the triangle and this. So we say area of triangle, AOB, area of, let me write triangle in a different thing. Okay, looks nice. Area of triangle is, you know, half base, half of base is AB, let me write AB first, into height, which is OM, which is OM, okay? So, so we have all the numbers here, half of AB is 48, times OM, which is 18 to us, right? Now, I'm not writing units here, we'll write units at the end, areas will be in centimeters square, right? So, so we can do 48 times 18 divided by 2, and that is 432. So we get 432 as area of the triangle. Correct. Now what is the area of sector? So area of, uh, let me write sector here. Sector will be OAB. This is my sector, right? So we are talking about sector, that means this arc, right? So this arc, kind of like this. So this is A for us, this is B, this is O, the whole thing, right, in which we have this triangle also. The whole thing is the sector. Now to find the area of the sector, we need to find the angle at the center. Right? So we want to find the whole area, correct? So we need to find the angle, which we can easily find. The angle, let's say this, you know, is a right triangle, okay? So we can use cos of, let's say this is half of the angle, right? This angle is half of angle. Uh, let me call this angle as theta. To find the area of the sector, we need to find this angle. So this angle theta, you could find with cosine ratio. We know 18 is the height, hypotenuse is 30. So we know cos of theta is equal to 18 over 30, right? 18 over 30. So from here, theta equals to cos inverse of 18 over 30, right? Let's calculate this angle now. So we have shift cos inverse 18 divided by 30, bracket close, equal to. So we get 53.13. So we get angle as 53.13 in degrees. But the total angle is 2 theta, right? So, so we can write angle AOB as 2 times 53.15. Is it okay? So which will be, let me just multiply by 2, uh, 106.26. Okay. So we get 106.26. So that's the total angle. Do you see that? AOB. Now that helps to find the area of the sector. So to find the area of the sector, it is ratio of total area times the ratio of the angles, right? So we are finding area of sector now. So area of the circle is how much? Let's write down area of circle. So that is to say full circle, right? So area of circle, full thing is as you know, pi r square is pi r square, and in our case, r is 30 centimeters, so pi 30 square, right? So let's find this value, pi 30 square, okay, so we have this pi here, uh, times 30 square equals to uh, 900 pi, of course, but in decimals, it is equals to 2827.43 okay so that is the total area of the whole circle right now area of the sector is how much so from here we can say area of sector of sector is is a ratio of total angle to the angle of total area to this angle right so it is area of the circle circle times 
uh, this angle whatever we have angle AOB divided by 360 degrees right so that is the area of this sector right so in our case it is area of the circle we just calculated 28 27.43 times angle 106.26 divided by 360 degrees correct so that is it so we can just calculate this out it is uh, 2827.43 times 106.26 divided by 360 equals to. So we have a figure which is uh, 834.56. We are not bothering to round them. We are just using calculator. It doesn't really matter, right? Okay. So area of sector, we know. The total area of the sector. Now how do we get area of this segment? So this is a good review in understanding all the terms which you'll come across in such cases, right? So let's find this blank space. So, so that empty area is empty area where there's no water is actually called segment. So we'll call this as area of segment. Is that okay? So area of segment is what we'll calculate now so area of the segment really means that when we calculated this sector we want this area on the top that is called the segment so area of the segment as you can see from here is area of this sector minus triangle so it is area of the sector right area of the sector take away area of this triangle is it okay so that gives us uh, this segment area is it okay right so that is what it is so we'll just substitute these values so area of the sector we just found as 834.56 minus so let me call this as equation 2 and area of the triangle we found here somewhere okay so which is 432 okay let's figure this out so we already have this number 834.56 we'll take away 432 and write down this as 402.56 okay so that becomes the area of the empty space now finally we can breathe so what is the area of water so area of water filled in right so it is the whole circle as you have seen right it is the whole circle we know it is this water is filled up to up to this place right up to this place right so that is the whole water level right now what is the empty space we have to take away the segment right so area of the sector take away area of the segment is it okay so let's calculate this area of the segment is uh, let's say equation 3 and somewhere we calculated area of the circle also which is this much right we'll call this 4 now no problems so these are the figures which we have to take care of so that is 28 circle area 2827.43 take away the segment area we just calculated 402.56 okay let's do this so 2827 so 2827.43 take away 402.56 okay 402.56 equals 2 okay so this is 24 24.87 right so that is the area cross section area of water so this is basically the cross section do you see that cross section we are only considering this this circle part which is 24 24.87 right now we can find the volume right so what is the volume of uh, water in this tank so the volume of water will be let me write down bold volume is area into length right so area is 
0.87 okay times 150 right so we'll multiply this 24 24 87 times 150 so we get in decimals a big number of course 36 3 7 30.5 and the units will be centimeter cube is that okay so that is how we are going to find this area so we can just say 36 37 30 centimeter cube perfect so that is how you can find so i think that is a good review on the sector area segment area circle area and all these concepts i'm anil kumar and let me thank my subscriber once again for sharing this beautiful question and I hope this will be very helpful for other viewers. You can look into similar videos which I have in the link uh, playlist that should help. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.